Um, and your your first Mac, if I understand it right, your first Mac was actually Apple Silicon, right? Because you were a Windows desktop user. Somebody's got their history. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, it was a it was the M1 Mac Mini with eight gigs of RAM. And it's a beautiful machine, and it's still really good, even with eight oh, gigs of RAM. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> life changing. You wouldn't expect, like in any other scenario, I probably wouldn't have purchased that because it doesn't track, it doesn't compute. Especially, you know, coming from the PC world, you hear that this this machine has eight gigabytes of RAM. You're like, I can't even. Like, I'm not. No, obviously not. But my PC blew up, uh, and it was in the middle of COVID, and there was like nothing. There was nothing around me. Like I need. There was. I had a deadline to meet, an episode to edit, and uh, there was nothing at the local Best Buy except for like an M1 Mac Mini, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I was like, ah, I guess. So I, I, reluctantly purchased it, got it home. And it edited like butter. Yeah, completely changed my <laughs> my view of of Apple Silicon and and what's possible. And uh, yeah, have never looked back since. Yeah, I I think um, I mean I'm using exactly that machine in the Project Ninety One that I built the okay. the Macintosh yeah. Classic. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just it still runs my desktop uh, pretty happily. You know, Final Cut, no dramas, uh, yeah. no issues whatsoever. So yeah, it's it's a revelation what happened with apple silicon one um, of the best things that's happened in the last 10 years thank you so much for watching this clip from aluminium apple news with a british accent if you want to follow the podcast itself you can either subscribe here on youtube or you can listen to the audio version on spotify apple music or amazon